What's up everyone? We're back again with another episode of Sunday Shred School and this time we're talking about nutrition. So many people out there ask about what the perfect diet is. The fact of the matter is there is no perfect diet. There's only the perfect diet to fit your lifestyle. And that's exactly what this is. It's a lifestyle choice. You gotta choose something for you that's gonna fit your lifestyle, gonna fit comfortably into your day-to-day -day routine and that you can actually keep with for the rest of your days. The fact of the matter is there are quick fixes out there that will maybe lose you a lot of fat or gain you muscle quicker than most but these are always very expensive ways, very time consuming ways and very unrealistic ways to live your life. For some this is pretty easy but for many of us it's so hard to keep up with. So just be cautious of that and be wary of that when you decide what kind of nutrition you want for yourself. The possibility of relapse is so much higher with these diets. What we're trying to do here today is talk more about having a sustainable lifestyle and having a sustainable nutrition plan so that we can go about our day-to-day -day plans, enjoy our lifestyle and eat the foods that we enjoy eating. At the end of the day, what it all boils down to is getting as many nutrient-dense foods into your body as possible. If you don't know what nutrient-dense foods are, then I'll leave an explanation right here. We have to try to get these nutrient-dense foods into our body, rather than many of these foods out there that are really lacking in nutrient density. The kind of foods we need are the foods that are gonna keep us fuller for longer, keep us fueling the body, fueling all the processes that are necessary to keep the body functioning at 100% and creating a healthy environment in the body so that you can function at your best all day long. The fact of the matter is there are so many diets out there, you just gotta find what suits your lifestyle. There are so many different styles of diets, but honestly, for me, I just eat as much good food as I possibly can. At the moment, I am on a high protein diet because I work out six to seven times a week. and That helps to fuel my body to the best of my ability so that I can keep repairing muscle fast and burning off that fat as I go. If you're interested, this is just a little shot of my macronutrient breakdown. As some people will be able to tell from that, I enjoy my fats rather than going very high with my carbs. I'm a person that enjoys having peanut butter, I'm a person that enjoys having oily fish, and I'm a person that enjoys having my eggs every day. These appeal to me a lot more than having grains in my diet, and that's the way with a lot of people, but for some people it's the exact opposite. So some people will enjoy a lot more of their oats, their starchy foods and so on and so on. In the first or early stages of changing your lifestyle, it doesn't really matter so much. Don't get hung up on those small details. Do try and hit a protein goal, get it worked out, work out your macronutrients to the best of your ability. I'll leave a link in the description box to what I use to work out my macronutrients and hopefully that'll help you to get started on your fitness journey if you're not already on the way there. Also, if we're just beginning and don't know where to start, my suggestions are to try and get in a lot of water during the day. Try and get as much water to fuel the muscles, fuel the cells, fuel the body throughout the day so that you're not dehydrating and that your body can function at its top level. Take a fish oil, take a multivitamin every morning just to get yourself on track, just to start moving in the right direction then gradually increase little habits so that you keep them in mind over time. The likes of drinking diet drinks, yes, they're not the best for you, but if you're drinking the full sugar drinks, then that is definitely gonna kick your goal out the window. Protein bars, change it up from Snickers, Mars bars. You get Snickers and Mars bars protein now. I myself didn't start out having the perfect lifestyle, didn't start out having the perfect nutrition. What I did do is I cut out some foods that weren't 100% good for me and that got the ball rolling and I've kept with that ever since. It's been tough at times, but other times it's been so rewarding. So that is what sticks with me, is the reward rather than the hard times. At the end of the day, food is not just fuel for your body, but it's also information. Your body needs this information to complete all the necessary processes to keep you fit, healthy and active. Now, the good stuff. Now I'm gonna give you three tips that I give to anyone who's looking to begin their fat loss journey, and three tips that I give to anyone who's looking to build some lean muscle. Tip number one for fat loss, get moving more. 
an increase in physical activity during the week can really help to jumpstart that metabolism and get your fat loss journey on track. So yeah, it, it, it can be just as easy as taking the stairs instead of taking the lift. Parking that bit further away from the shops when you go there, walk to the shops. If you can manage it, then do that. Dance, tap your feet, move your hands. All that is burning calories. At the end of the day, it takes calories to stand up. So stand up as often as possible. Don't sit down when you don't need to. Don't laze around. All these things add up. Tip number two, eat your vegetables. Vegetables are really nutrient dense foods that keep us feeling fuller for longer and for very little calories in our diet. When we feel fuller on nutrients dense foods, we feel a lot better for it. So keep up those greens. And tip number three for fat loss, as I said before, is make those small changes. Create some processes to move lightly towards your goals. Don't go straight into a diet expecting to lose 30 or 40 pounds straight away. It's not going to happen and if it does, you're only going to regress twice as hard and put weight back on again. Now here's my three tips for gaining muscle. Number one, you got to drink your water. The exact same as for fat loss, you really need to keep hydrated, keep your body at its optimal functional level and get that H2O into those muscles. Number two, keep that protein level high. Realistically, we've got to be hitting 1 to 1.5 grams of protein per pound of body weight every single day to keep us on track for that muscle building goal that we have. And last but not least, number three, keep your body in a calorie surplus. You need to keep those calories high to fuel the muscle growth, otherwise you're just going to maintain muscle or lose muscle. You can't physically build any muscle if you're in a calorie deficit. Guys, there are so many different things that can be said about nutrition, but this video I want to keep short and sweet. So I just want to leave you with those few little tips, in my personal opinion, for helping you go towards that fitness goal or go towards that health goal. Because at the end of the day, if we're not healthy, we're no good to anyone. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. If you liked it, please don't be afraid to leave a like down there. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, right here. And if you've got anything to say on the topics, please leave me a comment down below. So yeah, that's it, and I'll see you next time.